Okay, so in this problem here, we've got to figure out the osmotic pressure of a solution of sodium chloride, and we're given the concentration is 0.86% by mass, and uh, we're given the temperature and the density. So we probably need to start off with the osmotic pressure equation. Um, so we know pi is I times molar concentration times gas constant times temperature. And so we need to figure some of these out. Um, I is the Van Hoff factor, and the Van Hoff factor is the number of units that the particles break down into. And if you look at sodium chloride, when you throw it in water, it dissolves, and when it dissolves, it actually breaks down into two particles. It breaks down into the sodium ion and the chloride ion, and so because each formula unit breaks down into two things, the Van Hoff factor is 2. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got the temperature, and the temperature is the absolute temperature, and so we need to add 273 to the Celsius temperature, and that gives us 310. And we have the gas constant. That's something that you probably want to kind of keep in your memory banks, and so it's 0.08206. And that has units of atmosphere liters per mole Kelvin. So, and that's probably the one we want to use because we'll have moles per liter for molar concentration. And so that gas constant will cancel us out. So the molar concentration then, well, that's the number of moles of sodium chloride divided by the number of liters of our solution. And in our problem, we're not told the molar concentration, are we? We're told the um, percent by mass. And so we need to start off by converting percent by mass to molar concentration. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Uh, well, one cool thing is, is that if we've got a percent by mass, we can immediately write a conversion factor. And we can say if we have 100 grams of solution, then whatever the percent was is the number of grams of our solute. And so we know we've got 0.86 grams of sodium chloride. And I don't think we need it for this problem, but we can go ahead and write down we've got 99.14 grams of H2O. We want the molar concentration, so stands the reason we're going to want to convert grams to moles. We can go ahead and add up the weights of sodium and chlorine to get the molar mass, and that gives us 58.44. And so we can go ahead and convert grams to moles. And if you do that, you should get 0 0.01472, with a guard digit, moles of sodium chloride. So in order to find the molar concentration, we need the number of moles of sodium chloride, which we've just figured out. And we need to know the number of liters of solution. And that we have to figure out by using the density. And so we have 100 grams of our solution. And the density was given in this problem of 1.005 grams per milliliter. Okay, and so that means we can write that as a conversion factor. And if we do that, we'll see it's going to be a little bit less than 100, right? And so it's going to be 99.50 milliliters and molar concentration needs to be in liters so we can divide by a thousand and that's the same thing as shifting the decimal point three units over so we've got our moles we've got our number of liters we can divide to get the molar concentration so let's go ahead and do that so the concentration sodium chloride is the number of moles of sodium chloride 0.01472 the volume 0 0.09950 liters and if we divide that we get the molar concentration that's 0 0.1479 okay and that's moles per liter and now we're ready to substitute into the osmotic pressure equation so we know pi is i Van Hoff factor, M, molar concentration, gas constant, temperature. The Van Hoff factor was 2 because it broke down into two things. The molar concentration we have above. And if we write down the moles 
over liters, we can see it's going to cancel with what comes next. So gas constant, atmosphere, liters per mole Kelvin. And the very last thing is the temperature. And the temperature was 310 Kelvin. Um, so let's check our units are canceling, right? Um, the Van Hoff factor doesn't have any units. It's just the number of things it breaks down into. Um, the moles cancel, the liters cancel, the Kelvin cancels, and we're left with atmospheres. And that's probably a pretty sensible unit there for a pressure. And I get 7.53 atmospheres. And that's, the end of the day, three significant figures. So that's our osmotic pressure.